Hello there, sir. What's your name? Benny Seeley. And how old are you, Mr. Seeley? 65 years old. Okay, what is your particular condition that brought you to our office? <laughs> All of it. Okay, neck, tell me about them. Neck, shoulder, back, legs. Okay. First thing, I had quadruple bypass open heart surgery in 1993. Uh, I've been on blood pressure medicine and heavy cholesterol medicine. And I uh, got to where 12 years ago, my back and shoulder got so bad, my, sh my left shoulder got so bad, the doctor told me, the doctor told me that. I had to have surgery on my neck and shoulder. I had neck surgery, had a bone fused out of my hip on it in 1988. Said I was going to have another one, and uh, cause I couldn't move my neck, I couldn't look one, but one way. Had so much neck pain and shoulder pain, and I said my shoulder was all in pieces, and my neck had to have surgery. It was 12 years ago, so I found the pain got so bad I couldn't use my left arm at all, the shoulder. So I. Uh, I had rotator cuff surgery, had some spurs cleaned up, bursitis, it helped, but it didn't relieve the pain that was under my shoulder blade. The doctor that did that was not a, a spinal surgeon, so he said I'd have to, it came from my spine and my neck, so I'd have to have that done there, so that pain down there. So I was ready to do that. I had been to a doctor about my back. I couldn't bend over and straighten back up. I have at times, I work in the office and work outside too. I have been at times on crutches in my office to relieve the pressure off my back. It hurts so bad. Uh, so, at the last resort, I was recommended to come to see Dr. McCracken. I came down here and he took a simple x ray, and the bottom vertebrae was noticeably moved forward right above my hip. And what's that called? Uh, spongy something. Spongy. Spondylolisthesis, yes. Spondylolisthesis. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had told me I was not a good candidate for back surgery. Nobody wanted to do that. So I said, what am I going to do then? I, you know, I can't operate. And this was uh, two or three years ago. Yes, sir. Several, two or three years ago. And uh, <clears throat> so he said, the, doc, the spinal doctor told him the option, had two options. One of them was to go have the pain, the painkillers, my nerve block. And it's, I said, that's out. I won't do that. I will not have a nerve block because I know too many people have had them and how long it will last and what you run into. He said, my second option is stand the pain, so I stood the pain for years. Unbearable almost. I don't take pain pills. I won't take pain pills. When the doctors give me pain medicine, I throw the things away because pain pills are no good to me. They don't work. And uh, so anyway, I came here and he did a, a x-rayed it showed that and after a, really at the first visit but after the first week three visits I had no back pain. The spondylolisthesis is also known for causing leg pain. You said you had okay. the restless leg okay, syndrome? Okay I've got restless leg syndrome. I've been on medication for that now for since before I had my heart surgery since 19 about 91. I went from quinine to quinone to clonazepam to clonopin to that, Requip, which like to kill me, and now I'm on Myrapex, which it did work. I not only had just restless legs, I knew I had bad pain, and first it was in my left leg, so I thought that was from the surgery where they took the otters out. Then it switched, it was in my hip on the left side, then it switched to my right side, my right leg, and it was so bad that even the leg medicine didn't help, the restless leg medicine, so I kept saying, I know it's my back. When he adjusted my back three times, I have not had a leg pain in my right leg since. It's gone. Rest of the leg still a little bit, and I still take medication for that because you have to get off of that gradually. My blood pressure, I recently changed blood pressure medicine because my blood pressure kept creeping up, and I was taking a whole one when I, I've been coming down here about a month probably or more. I've cut it in half and my blood pressure hadn't moved in. It's, it's down to like a hundred. I've never had blood pressure, blood pressure less than 140 over 124. And with this new medicine, it dropped it to like 119 over 75. And it's still 117, 119 over 74, 75. Taking half. Cut that in half. I've cut okay. it in half. And my neck, the pain from my neck, they said that 
was crossing my neck. Dr. Pragin said, when he, when I, he checked it where it was, and he said, that's your neck down here. And he said, he, when he found it under my shoulder, he said, that's your real. So he checked the place up front, he said, that's your real. So he's working on that. The pain is much better. It was so intense when I traveled, I could not put my back, my left shoulder, against the car seat. I had to lean forward. When I was laid on the couch, I could not touch that against a chair, couch, or anything. That's how bad the left shoulder hurt up under it. He says it's a rib, so he's working on that, and it's much better. I can actually lay on my shoulder at night now and sleep. And it's still sore from the surgery, from the uh, rotator cuff surgery, which was only a little over two months ago. It's a little over, about three months ago. So I'm still a little sore from that. But that helps some too. And other pain is over, let me think. <laughs> okay. Well, um, how did you hear about our office? Jamie Bowen was coming to work down here. She was working for the doctor that wanted me to take the dead the shots in the back and uh, I told her, I said, I've got to get her. I was waiting on hunt season to be over. I, I got, I couldn't wait my left arm. I could not use my left arm. So I had to have the surgery on it. I got that where I could use my left arm. After a few days, I threw the sling away and started using my arm. So, you know, surgery don't bother me. Anything don't bother me that much. But uh, I was trying to line up. And then actually, I told my heart doctor, I said, I've got to have some relief. I've got to. So he made me an appointment with another Neuro, neurologist about my legs and my pain, you know. So I, I told Jamie about it, and she said, "Well, just try." It. I came down here, and after those three visits, I got my wife to call to cancel the appointment with the neurologist. And I have an hot bed with the neurologist, and I will go. So, how has chiropractic changed your life or improved your life? I'm a different person. My wife said she had her old mini back. I'm, I'm that's a different person. That's I, I, after about two weeks, I do I own apartments and houses, and I do the yard work. And uh, what was taking me one set of apartments to trim the shrubbery and hedges and all? It take me three days. I had to split it out over three days to do the buildings. I went down there and done it less, a little over two hours, two and a half hours, without stopping and didn't bother that night because I couldn't move my arms and shoulders. They were hurt so bad before. And I, I can actually, that was after I had a rotator cuff surgery and everything. I went down there. I could do, I could do three, three days work in three hours. It made that much difference. You know, I'm an outdoors when I like to work out. I don't like, I work in the office a lot, but I really work outside. How about your sleep? Have you noticed any different in your sleep patterns? <laughs> I can go to sleep now at 7 or 8 o'clock and I sleep, now I can sleep to about, I can sleep 7 o'clock now and I was getting up at 2 o'clock. I never, never stayed in bed past 2.30. I'd get to bed and at 2.30 I hurt so bad by 2.30 I had to get up and to keep the ball and my wife walking around the house I'd go to work, go to the office, do something, I'd go Put somewhere open for breakfast when they open at five o'clock, wait till they find out the earliest place in town open breakfast, anything to just kill time. But uh, I never slept. So I, I mean, the last two years, I've not stayed in bed past three o'clock. Describe your overall impression of the chiro of chiropractic care of Dr. Michael and of the office team here. Very professional and very, very knowledgeable and knows what they're doing. And the staff is excellent. And Dr. McCracken is, I can't believe it. I can't believe because I've been to cow practice before. I mean, 15, 20 years ago, and they helped, but I didn't know that you, I thought you'd just go one time and get an adjustment, and that was it. I didn't know you need to. I do exercises now, I do the therapy with my neck, I do the stretches. I do what he tells me. And it's, Made a difference. I'm a different person. I, mean, I'm, I've, I just I had felt like this in. What would you like years. to tell other people about McCracken Family Chiropractic? Give it a try. If you're hurting anywhere, give it a try. If you didn't think your toes to your head hurts, at least give it a try. If you're willing to give it a try, unless you just hooked on pain pills and then you, that's all you want, then that's all that's what you want. If, you, if you're a pain.